So in this past week, Ubuntu 2004 was released by Canonical, the new long-term support uh, version of Ubuntu. And together with this official release, uh, the WSL, the Windows Subsystem for Linux Distro for Ubuntu 2004, has also launched. Uh, and is now available for download in the Windows Store for Windows 10. One of the news about this new version of the Ubuntu, one of the key uh, features, uh, is that it comes with a new long-term support Linux kernel, the version 5.4. But in Windows Subsystem for Linux, it still uses the standard version from Microsoft, which uses uh, the 419 LTS version of the kernel Linux. So, in this video to celebrate this new version of the Ubuntu, the Ubuntu 2004, we will compile a mainline kernel, the version 5.7, which is still in release candidate to run this new version of the Ubuntu in WSL2 with these key features of the a new kernel. So, do you want to know more? Stay with me. Hi everyone, Matheus Castello here and if you don't know me, I'm an embedded software developer and kernel Linux developer. And I have here this channel because I like to share knowledge about embedded systems and Linux, IoT, Windows Subsystem for Linux and technology. So if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. Today we will compile the mainline kernel Linux for WSL2 to run our new Ubuntu 2004, so let's do it. So first of all, for test WSL2, we need the latest versions of the latest builds of the Windows. So for this, we need to be part of a Windows Insider program. I am part of the fast ring that gets the newest preview versions, the newest preview builds uh, of the Windows and of course, you need to uh, activate to the Windows Subsystem for Linux, okay? So I will leave on the description below um, the links for documentation to activate Windows Subsystem for Linux. And the second thing we need, of course, is the Ubuntu 2004 WSL distro. And for this, it's very simple. We will access the Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu 2004 this guy here. I already installed uh, the Ubuntu 2004 on my machine and for you there will be a install button instead launch. So after the install we you need to launch and this will you make out installation and configuration of your WSL Ubuntu 2004 distro. Okay so with the Ubuntu 2004 installed uh, we will have here uh, the Ubuntu 2004 on our WSL uh, list, but probably for you, you will have the version here for WSL 1. So we will need to change this version here. And this is very simple. You can use here again the WSL command to set uh, the version of or this to so I will pass here as argument the Ubuntu 2004 and you pass the version so if you have the version 1 here for your Ubuntu 2004 change it to 2 okay for my case here I already done this and this will return me the distribution is already the request version this will take um, more or less 10 or 20 minutes depending on uh, the power procession of your computer, okay? So after that, when this command uh, ends, we will have a Ubuntu uh, 2004 running in the kernel Linux and that comes with the Windows and running in a Hyper-V for WSL2. And we can see here that the version that WSL is using the latest build of the Windows system for 19.104, Microsoft standard version. But one of the key features that Canonical is uh, releasing with the Ubuntu 2004 is the new kernel Linux, the LTS kernel Linux version 
5.4. So this is not true for the WSL distro that uses yet the 4.19 for Microsoft. So let's make it true. Uh, I, will, I will follow here this blog post I am done on 2019 that is compile your own Linux kernel for Windows for WSL2. I will leave here uh, the link for this blog. Okay, so I you explain some key some key differences between WSL1 and WSL2, and we will use here this as base for install the dependencies and compile our kernel Linux for WSL. Okay, let's begin the process of build here. I will make a new folder here and, and one cool thing you will use uh, to Ubuntu 20.04 to compile a new kernel Linux for or WSL2, okay? So I will make a new directory here, a new folder that I will call new kernel. And of course we need first uh, the source code of Linux, the source code of the kernel Linux, I you get, I you clone the source code from the official git treat from Linux Torvo. Okay, I you get this uh, commands on uh, description. Okay, so this will take a while uh, because the kernel Linux is a huge code base. So let's wait. So okay, this was done. We have now the Linux kernel source code here on our Ubuntu 2004 distro. And this spent me more or less um, 15 minutes on my internet connection to download out source code that's more than one gigabyte. So okay, next step is get the dev config for build or kernel Linux for WSL2 and we get downloaded this dev config from the Microsoft GitHub. The, they have a um, repository for the Linux kernel source uh, for WSL2. This repository has some patches for the kernel Linux work and run on Hyper-V, this, this version of the kernel T4.9 thing, because I try to compile the vanilla kernel T, uh, the mainline kernel, science 5.4, 5, 5 science version 5.4, but this get me a lot of issues. I didn't get a, a boot from these versions of the kernel. All, the only version that I can boot on Hyper-V is this version from uh, Microsoft with these patches, but the new version, the, the latest release from Linux, uh, the 5.6 have some patches from Microsoft guys that appear to fix these issues and now we can compile a mainline vanilla Linux kernel for WSL2, but we need to def config yet uh, that Microsoft guys use here for the WSL this config WSL. So I, I, will, I will leave this link on the description too. We will download this guy here. So, okay, now we have the config, the dev configs for WSL and the Linux kernel source code. And for make our kernel more customized, I will edit here the config and WSL and we can see here that uh, this dev config file this config WSL file have a lot of configs is a lot of configuration that will tell for the kernel Linux uh, build system what will be compiled and what will be linked on our kernel Linux what features will enter on our kernel Linux and Microsoft guys um, make this dev config, this config file over here, optimize it for WSL2 and optimize it for the Hyper-V Microsoft Virtual Machine. One of the configs here is the config local version and you can see that is Microsoft standard. This config local version is appended uh, to the kernel version. So if we get the proc version here, we can see uh, the kernel Linux version and 
the Microsoft standard that is uh, the config local version string. So we will change this here to micro hobby. So we will build here the kernel Linux micro hobby version for WSL2. So before we start to compile our Linux kernel, we need first uh, how to compile dependencies and development tools. So we need to install this. These instructions and these packages that we need is on our blog post about compiling your own kernel Linux. I will leave the, the link here on the description. So let's install it. Okay, and the other thing that we need before we start the build of the kernel Linux is move the config WSL file to the Linux uh, dev config folder. So we will move the config WSL to Linux arc x86 configs folder. And we will to change the name to WSL dev config because kconfig uh, the kconfig build system of the kernel Linux expects to receive a dev config file name to begin the configuration of our kernel features. So it's done, we are ready to begin our kernel Linux build. So let's go to the Linux um, folder and now we can input the make and pass the WSL dev config to the make and this will make out the configuration for us. Okay, now the uh, kernel Linux has this .config file with all the configurations made from the WSL dev config file uh, as base. Okay, so the build system is ready to begin our uh, build and now we can input make and pass this argument here to uh, tell us to make how many cores, how many processor cores we will use to build your kernel Linux. I will use only four cores because I am recording here uh, the screen and also I'm recording the camera. So I need more cores for this, but you can use all the cores of your machine to speed up uh, the kernel build. So let's do it. And now we have to wait the build uh, process here. This will take uh, a while, so let's wait. So okay, the kernel Linux build is done successfully. So if you get this busy images read message at the end of your build process is because everything worked out and now we have a latest kernel image, a mainline kernel image ready to run on our Windows subsystem for Linux 2. So the next step is now uh, loot this new kernel image for the WSL system. So first we need to copy this file here, the VAM Linux to the Windows file system. So the Windows file system is on mount C. I will put on my users folder and inside my default user folder. And to load this new image uh, for the WSL, uh, we have to edit here a file, the .wsl config file that will be on your default user, on your default Windows user folder, okay? So let's open here the WSL config, oops, the WSL config file. And here we have a spoiler that my tests uh, trying to loot uh, the kernel Linux image. So in this file we have this header here with this K for the WSL2 and the property kernel that we will uh, put here the path for the new kernel Linux image that will uh, be loaded by WSL2. So it's only C users them Linux. So let's save the WSL config and okay, let's 
close this here and now let's check here if we have some WSL2 running you can see here the Ubuntu 2004 is running uh, so if I close here the we can see that is still running okay so for this we have to shut down to WSL first because if I open here again the, the Ubuntu we can see that we are yet running the old kernel version so for this we need to first WSL shut down input the WSL shut down command this will uh, terminate all the instances of the WSL so we can see here the WSL list and now we have all the WSL two versions here with the state stopped and this will uh, terminate this will end to the IPRV machine that uh, WSL 2 is running so the next time I will call a new WSL distro this will run our new kernel Linux with lucky so let's see if this will works I will run here again to Ubuntu 2004 Oh, this appears to be running. Let's check our kernel version. Oh, guys, we have now a kernel mainline T5.7 release candidate for with our micro hobby version. And this is very cool because uh, three hours ago, uh, Linus, Linus Torvald has released this release candidate and we are testing it already so this is very cool now with this possibility of compile uh, and build the kernel linux from the vanilla from the mainline source code is very cool because we can now get out the new features from the mainline kernel and i'm doing this for fun but if you need some new feature or need to add new features uh, for your WSL kernel or a custom uh, driver for your WSL kernel you can use the WSL dev config as base for your uh, kernel uh, build using to the mainline uh, source code for your needs so that's it guys I hope you liked this tips and the content if you liked it don't forget to leave your like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, if you did like no problem leave here your dislike and comment here on the comments below uh, what you don't like or if you like comment you what you like if you have some question let's talk leave your comment here on the comments so that's it we have the newest Ubuntu 2004 uh, running with the mainline kernel, the latest release candidate from Linux Torvalds um, running here on our Windows subsystem for Linux 2. So thank you, this is it and see you on the next video.